five minute game. Been going through what's classed as my options of playing my A game or playing my C game. In this game here, I'm going to show what my A game is just to compare it to my C game and my B game, etc. So, we're going to grab here. So, this is our A game, our top game that we can play in chess. I don't think it looks any different to my other games. There might be the slightest of differences just in the way that we operate the end game opening. I think we're braver when we're doing the end game opening. But we'll see. This is my A game. Castle. And just bring the queen here. It's got that um, area through to the king area. Just capture. Keeping it all simple. Still focusing on the king area. And because he's got like a clever little maneuver here, which is on the knight, but his bishop is also on our queen. But his bishop doesn't have any protection, but he does get our knight, but we get the pawn back. Okay, so that's not too bad. So let's grab here. We're wanting to come back here with the queen to start targeting the king area because that's the answer process and that's the difference in the A game his queen is wanting to do something funky I'm going to bring the queen back okay so he's targeting us so I'm just going to gently bring the queen here smallest of details is the difference now the bishop, well, I think the, thought the bishop was going to come to attack here he's opening up space in front of his king area for us so we'll just gently move the queen across coming for the pawn here where well, he's actually taking the bishop but that might have been a bit of a failing thing for them so we're going to bring the queen here we're still facing the king area which is part of the answer process now I'm just going to bring my bishop here which again is targeting the king area whilst the opponent is taking pawns now he's looking to get our queen off the ball because <coughs> he's feeling he's got more pawns he's taking off more pawns I'm actually going to bring the queen here, still targeting the king area. So he's got his queen in front of our king at the moment, it's not, so now he's defending. So that's a good thing for us. So I'm going to attack the bishop now. We won't be able to maintain pressure on this because I think the rook or the queen is going to try and take us off. Interesting. Let's grab here, putting more pressure onto this pawn towards the king area. Queen's probably going to go back. Oh no, he's actually going for a little bit of a. Like I said, the queen is going to be challenged. I'm going to take the pawn here because we still have this pressure on the pawn here. If the bishop does take with a check, rook potentially takes or just moves. Well, he's moved anyway, so I believe we're going to take with the bishop. Let's take with the rook. So he's looking for some type of back ranker type situation with his rook. We're maintaining some sort of pressure. If he brings his rook down, then obviously we've got the back ranker, but it's not a checkmate per se. So his queen is looking, like we say, trying to get in. So we're going to just move across here. It's all pretty straightforward. His rook is down. Just bring the king here to safety. So all his pieces are in the center of the ball, but his king is all home alone. So his queen or his rook is coming back to protect that area after they've done all this hard work. He may look for an exchange with the rook, but we can chase his king around a little bit. Maybe it's only one check though. So he's now coming back with his uh, queen, potentially looking to get a check in here somewhere. 
So if we go here with a check on his king, his king moves down. White square bishop doesn't have anything at the moment, which is a shame. So we could bring the rook here, looking to pressure the area a bit, or we could bring the bishop up. Is there a better way? Feels like there's something that can squish. So if we go here with a check, then he drops down. Then we go there with a check. Then he drops down. Then we go there with a check. Then he comes across. Then we come here with a check attacking his queen. Yeah, interesting. Let's go with that check. Might see something different as we're developing. Uh, we're only on one minute by the way, so we need to speed up a bit. Hmm, all his pieces are on dark squares apart from the pawn. <laughs> ah. Well, that's a shame, isn't it? Okay, let's uh, just go here with a check. And his knight's protecting this pawn here. Let's go here. And is it a draw? Looks like it's going to be a draw. Can't squeeze down. Come there. And checkmate. The A game. Smallest of differences between this B game, the C game, etc. Um, squishing the king. You know, the focal point like we said right at the very beginning of the game. Just quick to through and let's take these off okay so develop the knight so before anything yeah um the a game does not mean you wipe the floor with the opponents the a game is about finding that end you know the the, the end of the game uh, whereas the B games are more a case of, well, you're not necessarily finding the full end of the game. You see those in a, uh, quite a lot of the games that I do play because they're more normal games. If you play games like this, people do start asking questions and start saying, oh my gosh, you, you're not that good, etc. But if you focus and you're using the answer process correctly, then your A game does start kicking in and you start targeting more appropriately. So in the in this game here we pushed we grabbed simple direct moves to remove pieces from the board targeting the weak pawn targeting the knight developing the bishop out castled for king safety brought the queen through and we said why we were bringing the queen through because we wanted to target this area here yeah looks like nothing at this moment in time but we do have this and we do have the queen looking future tense um, as what actually happened in the game that particular area was the weak area for the opponent so they pushed onto our bishop we brought the bishop back so they had nice attacks going on so we captured captured and brought the bishop back and captured their weak pawn they obviously then attacked our knight so positionally, because we're position players, um, it, we w weren't losing any sleep over the fact that, well, basically we still want to focus on this area. So they bring their rook through, we bring the queen back to its original position, and they start targeting us, so they're giving us this leeway to keep the pressure towards their king area. Gage bar is not in our favour, but I'm not too fussed about that. So we bring the queen back even more, so they're out and out winning here at the moment. Okay, so if they found that move that made them win, then obviously they, you know, our A game is shot. So they captured. Okay, so now they're actually, let's have a look. They're a minor piece up. If you have a look at the tail of the tape, they are a minor piece up. They've got a knight and a bishop. We've only got a bishop. So that's quite a shocker, 
I didn't even highlight in highlight that in the game because I was so focused on what I intended to do. So the knight came down, okay, grabbing a pawn, but it's away from the king. It's not really doing any devastation towards our king area, so we weren't going to lose any sleep. Now that they're a minor piece up, they're looking to exchange, but we're saying we want to keep pressure on this area. This was the original target that we had, and we wanted to maintain pressure. Look at that gauge bar. We have totally lost here. Opponent defends. We push on to the bishop. But I'm telling you now, it didn't feel like that in the game. You know? Um, why did they lose their bishop? Because their bishop was trapped. Yep. So a bad position, but they're still winning. But they didn't find the winning move. So now they're starting to attack our queen. So we're taking our queen out of the equation, but still maintaining pressure on this pawn. So that's quite a lot of pressure. I did expect maybe the queen to come here to defend that area um, more so. But they decided to move their king off of the diagonal, which maybe cost them a little bit. And it's not saying we did it perfect, but now they're losing the advantage that they had. And we captured with the queen. They had a nice check. And now I'm thinking my king can escape because his queen is on a white square now. And this pawn is blocking any access for the queen coming here to put a check on. So now at this moment in time, as you can see, the gauge bar showing that we're kind of winning. And it's a matter of finding the right position. So we made our move, making space for the bishop to come through. And do a little bit of a merry dance. Now the bishop is blocking this square so that the king can't come here. Well, can come there, but when this happens, they've got nowhere to run. So that's the difference between the A game, B game, C game. So this was the A game. And the smallest of details is keeping a focal point on the attack process. It isn't about, as you can see in the evaluation there, the opponent had must have had some ample opportunity to actually win they were a minor piece up and obviously their position didn't put them in good stead and we are positional players so that stands us in good stead understanding the positions of the pieces after they've completed their tasks so in essence it's not about tactics it's about position play and looking at the end result the end game opening and hopefully finishing the finishing the game in a nice advantageous position five minute game the a game Simple direct moves to remove pieces from the ball strategically, nothing changes. Going for a higher piece, okay, let's go for a lesser piece. Castle. Let's face off the king. Develop the knight. Let's attack the bishop. Take the bishop and let's see. Okay, positionally not looking too bad. Just develop the rook. Let him block his bring his pawn down, yep. what we want to see let's go here not that now we can do that let's take it 
I think we can take that. We've got the bishop and the rook on there. Do a preemptive because they are taking. <laughs> there we go. And preempt again. Yep. Okay, let's attack. Food order. Okay, let's grab here. And uh, do, 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 do. King time, I think, I think, isn't it? Nothing in the dark square bishop can attack at the minute. Let's go here. Let's bring the king up. Okay. This king's blocking his bishop, so let's push this pawn now. It's attacking our bishop. It's coming for the pawn as well. Could actually just bring my king here, defending the bishop. Still looking, chomping at the bit to get my bishop, isn't it? Let's take it out of the loop. And do 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 do. Push up. a bit of an issue here because I can't push my pawns up and he's coming for this pawn hmm I'm gonna go here so if he comes down for our pawn we can take this pawn mm -mm -mm. stay on the dark square stay on the dark square right so I can't move these because of his bishop. But if I push this, then he takes. No, that's not going to work. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, All right. Looks like it's uh, backward and forward for the bishop at this moment. I, put, I think the opponent will be zealous to go for a move so unless of course they, just, they know they're just going to stick on this diagonal yeah okay let's go here oh it's going to be a draw an A draw <laughs> very good nice one A game doesn't mean you're going to win A game means you're not going to lose <laughs> it's simple as that or you attempt not to lose better than the B game or the C game Continuing with the A game set, let's crack on with our A game, our top game. As we've proved, it's not a matter of winning, it's a matter of not losing. So if you can get a draw, you get a draw. It's you know, and I don't really care who the rating level is against. It's a matter of quality of your game. Could be as scrappy as anything. So long as the concepts are being used within the answer process, should stand me in good stead. Let's just bring this out, attacking. Let's take. Okay, let's bring our queen here. Okay, now this is a funky situation, and I'm going to go for it. Capture the pawn. I think the queen will take, they're looking to exchange, they're not actually doing that, let's bring the knight into the game, looking for the dramatic fork, and it's gone behind, which really does slow them down, do they not see that picture, let me see, so, king's ready to go on castle, queen side, but I think it's going to take some time to bring the bishop here, to. so we're going to castle queen side, because we're going to start pressuring the king area, they may castle queen side themselves yes they have done okay so that's magic music to my ears 
So what we want to do is get this knight out to here, if possible. This knight is being under threat from the queen, so I'm going to bring the knight out anyway, attacking the bishop. It's probably going to drop back to defend whichever way, defend the queen, whichever. Let's go there. Let's bring the knight across. Right square bishop's going to attack the knight, obviously. Yep. And bring this knight across here. And then we're going to try and look to get this knight across here, if we're allowed to. And let's bring it across no problems so looking pretty feisty ready to jump in here attack the bishop and he's still going from, let's go back here so the tempo i think they've lost with these pawn moves and, oh no the rooks in the center of the board excellent let's go let's attack the bishop Okay, and let's see, the rook is in the center of the board and we know that that is an issue. Let's attack the rook in the center of the board. Let's cause some hassle. Oh, and let's attack it again. Make it do stuff that they don't want to do. That's the answer process, kicking into place. Can't go here with the knight just yet, the bishop's on the back, which it doesn't really want to be on the back either. So I think it's trying to gonna fashion some sort of movement here to make it look like it's in the game. So this rook is still in the centre of the board, so it has to go all the way back, I think, really. But it's not doing that. Has he got a fork on my king? I'm taking. Um, there must be some technique that I'm missing. So it does take, and we can come here with our knight. Can bring the knight back. Because we're up the exchange now, so I'm going to bring the knight back. Protecting the pawn at the same time. Move the pawn up. Okay, so he's looking to double up. Uh, let's go here. Looking for a cheapie here. Oh, oh. <laughs> Did, didn't mean to preempt, but um, luckily that worked out a bit. Okay, right, so I don't think I would have done the move had it, had it not. So he's gone here, he's gone there. Let's take attack this bishop. That's throwing me off. That's with messing about with the mouse. Okay, let's go into the lion's den. He's looking to get a rook back. He may get a rook back. But he's attacked a piece when he's got a piece under attack and he's still got his piece attacked. Oh, he's not really. Because he's got protection from the bishop for now. Let's get this rook in the game. And he's attacking our bishop. Let's uh, bring the bishop across. He's going to attack it again, isn't he? Attacking this pawn at the moment. Okay. So we've got space for the bishop to go and sit in. So I'm actually, there was a bishop I could attack. There we go, attack this bishop. So it's just constant attacking, constant attacks, attacks, attacks. And I need to move this knight out of the way now because, and it's actually protecting there. If we could get this bishop off the board, that would be marvelous. Uh, let's bring the knight back again. Give the bishop some space. Attack the bishop here. Ooh, he's got my bishop. Okay, no problem. Let's capture here. He's not taking the bishop. He's given us space. Let's attack the bishop like we were going to do. His time's running down, so he's on one minute or something, so he might be getting a bit flustered. Now he's slowing down. Do we exchange? Do we not? We're up the exchange, but it don't mean anything until you we're attacking the bishop again. And we've got a knight's position here, he's protecting. Uh, oh, I need to stop doing that. <laughs> Cracking, jacking pieces all over. This king's got a support on a two on one, and we're gonna have to do this. Looks like it's going to be a time scramble thing here because everything looks a little bit locked down to me. 
looks more advantageous to white. So I'm going to have to swing my knight back. He's attacking my rook. Let's go in here. He's doing a merry dance with my rook. Yeah. to get my knight out of there, let's go here no, I think he'll just stay there now and they've resigned Woo! so the A game is either to get a win, to get a draw or to get a capitulation excellent, let's have a look at the analysis though to see if that was uh, realistic for the opponent to be doing that well, it's going to show we're in advantage because we're up the exchange and their time was running out. So at the end of the day, we did what we needed to do. We got an ideal position. The opponent couldn't break through. So I'm fairly comfortable with that. So the three stages of the A game at the minute we covered, as we mentioned, winning, drawing or getting a capitulation. Okay, the A game with no narrative. Yeah, lots of sacrifices and stuff going on there, but that was the A game without narrative.